Hi there everyone. Did you catch the highlights video with all of the new products that I posted already? This is a little bit more in depth. So if you are just starting this, please note it will take me more than like the minute and 55 seconds that Pampered Chefs did. Um, <laughs> so this is what I'm going to make sure my ringer's off too, actually, because there we go. That way nobody has to hear my my little text thing go off if possibly. Um, now, this is the new catalog and the new mini catalog. Um, if you've placed an order, um, an $80 order with me over the last six months or so, you will for sure be getting this mini catalog in the mail. And it, it does have all of the new products plus some of the oldies, but goodies are in there. And then if you requested a new catalog, You'll be getting one of those in the mail. I'll be dropping those in the mail tonight. And um, if you're a host, obviously you'll be getting some of these new catalogs. If you would like a big new catalog shipped to your address, just go ahead and drop me a note. Send me a, um, you know, a message through Messenger, comment down below. Let me know that you want one and I'll be happy to help you out with that because it's full of awesome stuff, including the new one that's on the front. I'm going to get to that though. Okay, <laughs> so we'll start with the small things and work our way up. I've got a mountain of awesome stuff right underneath the, the camera that you can't see. <laughs> so small but always essential is the season's best. This is our seasonal recipe book that comes out in for the fall and winter. And then we have another one for the spring and summer. So this is obviously the fall and winter. And um, what is interesting about this, has all kinds of good cozy things in it, um, is that all of this stuff, here's the recipe from the front cover, the one pot chicken and gnocchi, all of the stuff that they have in here was not designed in like the professional Pampered Chef kitchen like usual, but all of this stuff was designed by the Pampered Chef kitchen testers in their own homes when they were on quarantine. So very doable recipes, nothing very tricky or too tough. You'll definitely be able to accomplish it. And they are all just beautiful and delicious recipes. Now, I'm going to carefully slide this guy forward, and then I'm going to adjust my, my phone. So the first thing I brought out is the new spice organizer. I love it because my first thought was, mm, I don't know if it's going to fit in my cupboard, right? But it's totally adjustable. So let me adjust my, speaking of, my phone. Okay, so it actually is several different pieces and it can slide so it can accommodate a nice wide cupboard. Unfortunately, my cupboard is very, very narrow. So my cupboard sits with the thing in there on its smallest setting and it still fits. I love that. And it has drawers. So you have a little drawer here so you can put like one of your seasoning packets from your taste buds or uh, you could put like your little box with your corn, uh, corn holders from the summer catalog. You might put those in there. Something you don't want to miss uh, or lose in your drawers. In this one, this is a longer drawer. It fits my skewers for my air fryer perfectly. So you can be creative. You can come up with all kinds of good uses for it. Um, they've changed a lot of these fat short jars into a little bit skinnier jars. So these will fit a lot better. Although even my fat jars, they don't really mind sitting like that. And then I always have some of them here in the middle too because oh, you can't see, it's kind of a horseshoe shape. But very, very nice. My, my spices otherwise are always falling out of the cupboard as I'm trying to dig to the back. So I kind of like the tiers where I can see all the different stuff. And I'm really excited, like I said, about the, 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 um, the adjustability of it because that way everybody can use it and enjoy it. Now, on to an accessory for something that many of you already have and love. So, this is for the air fryer. Now, my air fryer is awesome and it's always being used, like, nonstop. Um, but, you know, the stuff on the top is always dripping out to the bottom, which is always dripping out to the very bottom. And there's a lot of cleaning up that you have to do. And sometimes you don't want it to drip quite so much. So, we have this awesome tool called the mess catcher. And... It is a little raised rack, so you're still getting all the airflow going through, and it has a silicone pan. So this tray slides right into the air fryer, and you can use this just as a baking sheet in the air fryer if you'd like. Um, and then this is designed to just sit right on top of it. So it's really great. Any of your, like, you think about, like, um, 
like something with cheese that's dripping down. Maybe you don't want it to drip all the way down through everything else. You can use this mess catcher and it catches everything. And there are fewer just crumbs just getting scattered around everywhere. So the mess catcher is a good one. And now I have a whole pan full of little fun tools. So we'll start with a little tiny one. This is one a good one for kids. This is our pumpkin carving kit. So it comes with a safety knife. See, it's got the blunt end. And it's got a funny handle. Now, you know, little kids, they like to always hold everything kind of funny. Well, the way it tips down, even if they're gripping it like this, it's going to keep their hand from sliding. Sorry, I'm holding it funny. From sliding down onto the actual blade. So it's a really good, good tool. And even though it's pumpkin orange, obviously, it could be used any time of the year. So if you have a little one who wants to help you, um, we all have helpers, right? <laughs> if you have a little one who wants to help you doing Hi Isabel, um, like maybe you're doing ants on a log or something like that, you can hand them this knife. They feel like, oh, I have a real knife, uh, but they're going to be a lot safer when they're cutting up the celery or if they're helping you do cutting up apples, something like that. So you can use it for anything. And it comes with a scoop loop um, so that that way you can scoop out your pumpkins. Awesome. So yay. And keep your keep your little kids' fingers safe because that's always the hard part around here, scooping out the pumpkins. <laughs> now, I know there was some concern, I think, among a lot of people about our graders being discontinued. Well, we have greater graders now. So <laughs> what we have is, let's see, I have a coarse grader. So it's a slightly different design, but it's still... Um, Oh, there we go. It pops open easier, actually. Um, it's a slightly different design. So instead of trying to push in on the side and try to get the, the handle open, it's just got a little button here on the uh, handle itself so that that way you can get it to open and close. And I think it requires a little less hand strength, which is really good for a lot of us. Um, it does hold itself up. Uh, this is, like I said, the coarse grater. It has the cover on it. And it has a food holder, of course, because... I love Paper Chef is always thinking about our fingers. It's a little bit of a different food holder, but it does push everything right down to the bottom and it has the little grooves on the side so it stays on track. Keep your fingers safe at all times, right? Then we have a new zester. This is such a cute little thing. There we go. Our new zester. Same thing. It's got the button on the handle. So the first click, it'll actually open just like that. And then if you want it to open further, you just pull that button down and then you can open it up all the way so that if you want to zest something or if you want to do uh, like grated nutmeg over the top of your drinks, I mean, it is getting to be fall, right? Uh, <laughs> or you wanted to do, let's see, uh, like Parmesan cheese, you know, you can just grate a little bit over the top of something. So there's that. And then, oops. And then, of course, there's a little teeny tiny food holder for that one. Now comes my favorite grater. Now this is like the big upgrade grater, I think. So this is the double grater. I think that's that's the actual name in the catalog is the double grater. Um, so it's a little more complica complicated looking, right? It has two in one. It's got the extra coarse and then a fine grate. And they open up like this. So it's almost like a box grater, you know. You can hold that handle at the top and you can grate on either side if you like that. If you're trying to... Um, do some grating and you want to hold on to it in a dish instead of putting it like on your cutting board. It comes with this little uh, dish and it has a groove for each of the graters to actually just kind of rest right in. So that way you're again, not slipping and sliding and it's got a silicone base. So it's not going to go all over your counter. And of course it has the food holder and that works on either side. But here's what makes it a little bit different. Let me take this, put my little, hold my bowl away. This is the different part. So if you decide, you know, I really want just a whole bunch of this and I don't want to mess around with this. I don't need it to be standing up. I would prefer just to hold it over my bowl maybe and do it. You have that option. You just grab it by the handles and pop it apart. So now you have two different graders. That way you can have a kid working on, on one side and another kid working on the other side while you're doing your stuff, right? <laughs> You can put multiple people to work. So this is the double grater. That's all. All of these are, of course, dishwasher safe. There we go. And then it pops right back together again. 
There we go. And it's ready to be stored. I love this. I have used this thing and used this thing. I've used all of them, but this is by far my absolute favorite. And I love it, especially because of that new little dish, because it is so nice when I want to, you know, just great stuff right in here. Like when we did, um, the chicken parmesan pasta in the quick cooker the other night. I did a whole bunch of parmesan in there and then everybody could just kind of, you know, go through and dip, dip out what they wanted to top their pizza, or not their pizza, their pasta. <laughs> All right, now, you know what, my dishwasher is about done. I can steal it, steal my stuff out for what I need. So, oh no, it's not, Ugh, I lied. I'm just gonna show you. You'll have to pretend I have a sheet pan here to put this on. So these are the modular sheet pans. It comes with three pieces and two of these, by the way. <laughs> and they're designed to be used in one of the big half sheet pans. So there we go, we're gonna pretend, right? So you can actually fit them into the sheet pan like this and you can cook three different items uh, and do a sheet pan dinner that allows you to actually swap things out. Because you know, sometimes like, if you were gonna put green beans in and you were gonna roast chicken, those don't really need to cook for the same amount of time. By the time the, time the chicken's done, the green beans are way done, right? So that way you can put maybe your chicken in here first, get your green beans ready on the counter and when it's ready and time, you just pop it right into the oven with it. The other um, neat thing about this is that these fit perfectly into, ready? the air fryer. I love it. So if you are just going to run a reheat something and it's something that, you know, think, you think about like one of the things that I posted the other day, like the mozzarella sticks, you, you don't want to heat mozzarella sticks on, um, I've, I've moved my little thing. Um, you don't want to do that on top of that mesh, uh, like the mess catcher because the cheese sticks are actually going to get stuck into the into the uh, rack, right? So you can use one of these. It's the perfect size. And because it's metal, you're going to get a really nice crispy bottom. So yay. So modular sheet pans. And then I have so many things to share. I have the cheese slicer. This is such a cool tool. Um, so it works really great. It's got a planer here uh, so that you can plane cheeses that are hard. Think like uh, Parmesan, so you can have like shaved Parmesan on top of things. Um, or I used it the other day because my son, he's, he's weird, he doesn't like cream cheese, and he needed butter on his bagel, but all of our butter was in the refrigerator. So I used my planer and I planed off some butter and he was super happy and I was very happy too. So uh, you can, <laughs> I've solved all kinds of problems. So you can use the planer and then you can take this off, or sorry, I should show you this. Um, while you are planing, you can use this cover as kind of a thumb rest. If you just wanna slice cheese though, you take that cover off and you can see I've got a really good, whoo, sharp blade. So that's why I keep it with the cover on, right? This is one of those tools I don't lose my cover. Some of my stuff, I don't worry about the covers, but this one I do. And then uh, you can put it out, you know, like with your charcuterie board, you can slice your cheeses and then you've got your little stabby doodad here. So people who are serving themselves cheese, they can actually just stab their cheese and help themselves. I'm gonna put my cover back on, boom. Also, dishwasherable. <laughs> yeah, see? Pampered Chef knows, knows the way to my heart. <laughs> this is a new old tool. Um, so this is, of course, our kitchen spritzer. And we have just redesigned it. Um, so it's kind of sleeker and nicer looking. And I got to be honest, my old one didn't work as well. So I don't know if mine was like kind of eh, like a little bit faulty just because it was mine or if this new design is totally improved. But I love this. It, it's even better than my old one. And yeah, same thing. You can always fill it up with olive oil, vegetable oil, See, canola oil, whatever oil it is that you want to spray, as long as it's not something goofy like coconut oil, right? That uh, solidifies. Um, you can put things in here to infuse the oil with flavor, but I've not done that. So that's in theory. If you've done that, I would love to see that in a comment down below and tell me what you've used to infuse it with. All right. So now let's see. Let's get into the baking stuff. I like baking stuff. So I have the new large muffin pan. So of course you can make jumbo muffins in this, but I've been using mine to make a ton of like, uh, like mini frittatas 
in here, mini omelets, whatever you'd like to call them, um, because my chickens have been baking a million more eggs than what I can keep up with right now. <laughs> and then what I've been doing is these are the perfect size for English muffins. And so, um, so I've got a whole bunch of breakfast sandwiches put away in my freezer thanks to this pan. So I really do. I love this one. And in our new season's best um, cookbook, there is a cute, really cute recipe. I haven't done it yet, but I, I'm, I'm going to do it. And when I do, I'm going to take pictures. Um, using this to make little burrito cups. Oh, it's super cute. A really fun idea. So you could do all kinds of dinner. You could do uh, jumbo individual meatloaves. You can, yeah. Use your imagination. And then look at the pretty blue. Ooh, it's my favorite. All right, more baking stuff. Okay, this one just came the other day. So I have no, I definitely have not had a chance to use it. But this is our new uh, little pocket maker. Our uh, sandwich pocket, no, not sandwich. Oh gosh, see, it really did. It just came, it arrived yesterday. Um, anyhow, so you can make little hand pies and little pocket sandwiches. It's really cool. It's got three pieces though. It's easy to understand even if I haven't used it. Uh, so it has three pieces. So it actually has a little scooper so you can actually know how much to fill your um, your pockets with. So that's always my problem. I'm always an, I'm an overfiller. I'm a more is more kind of girl. You have this white tool which is the cutter. So one side you'll notice when you get it is thinner. So you'll cut your dough or your bread, whatever it is that you're using with that side. And then you'll lay your cut pieces here on this and you can fill it. And then you can make the little cute half circle like pierogi style, right? Or lay it out, fill it. And then you can put this white one back on top and squish it down and then you've got your pockets. So you can make your little hand pies, you can make cute little sandwiches, and there's a little uh, spot to nest that scooper in so that that way, oops, I didn't do it right because I'm doing it in the air. Um, <laughs> that way when you're storing it, you don't lose the pieces. That's my biggest part, my biggest problem is I'm always losing little pieces. So I like that all of these things are just designed to snap together and be awesome and easy to find. All right, here's another new old tool. This is something that I remember from when I was a kid going to Pampered Chef parties. I remember our consultant always had this awesome timer and I, I, I was so sad all this last year. I kept thinking, I always thought they had a timer. Well, guess what? We have a timer again, yay! This is a special timer. You can do four different times at the same time, which, you know, I mean, I use my, I, I've been using my phone all these years, but I can only do one time, right? Well, when you have multiple things going, y'all know you need more than one. So here are four timers and you can set, you can use it as a clock. So like when I have it on my refrigerator, I can push the clock button if I need to see what time it is. Um, and it either runs up or down. So oh, let's look here. So I can set a timer and say, oh, I want you to go for a minute. And then I can't really do it upside down, sorry. <laughs> and have it count down for me. And then it does this really loud, which is really good, uh, <laughs> a kind of noise to let you know it's done. And then when you're all done, you just hit clear. If you want it to count up, maybe you're seeing how long does it take you to clean your bedroom, little kids, right? <laughs> You hit that and it'll count up for you too. So you don't have to have to um, always be counting down. I have really liked this. In fact, I got a second one so that my daughter can use it because her breaks tend to be, she's taking a break, you know, to do school away from all the fun instead of taking a break from school to do the little bit of fun. So she's got a timer too. I love it. Oh, I forgot. Neat part is on the back. It will kick out so you can stand it up on the counter. Yeah, you can see that. Or you can clip it onto your apron or in your pocket at your waistband. So that way if you're outside doing something, you won't forget whatever is supposed to be doing inside. That's my saving grace right there is because I always go outside and then I forget. Forget I even have a kitchen. <laughs> All right, here it is. Big upgrade to my kitchen. So these are sold as a set. This is the bench scraper and the batter uh, scraper, 
love this. It's got a nice little silicone edge, so it's kind of bendy. They're both just a nice size. Um, they've got a nice handle, easy to grip, so that you can cut. You can now hold it so you can see it. There we go. Measure and cut things. So like when you're doing cinnamon rolls and you want to know about how wide you're cutting them, you've got that there. And then this is really nice so that you can scoop out all of the batter like when you're using our new mixing bowl and you wanna get all of the delicious batter from, are you ready? Maybe our new brownie mix, gluten-free. I know a lot of you appreciate that. Gluten-free, non-GMO, vegan, soy-free, dairy-free, no nuts. Pretty much almost anybody can eat these. So you could use that to scrape out all your brownie batter or you could use it. You can see we enjoyed this one already. I, I, I ordered a, a replacement, but it hasn't come yet. Chocolate chip cookie dough. This one also is what? Gluten free. Oh yeah. It's all of those things. It is amazing. And I will give you a warning. So I saw this posted and I, I, I always got to test things for myself. And so, um, they, I, I saw somebody say when you make it, don't taste the dough because the dough tastes yucky. And I thought, well, how yucky could a cookie dough be, right? It's a little weird because it is, it's made with the garbanzo bean flour. Yeah. So it's a little weird. So then I was a little bit worried about baking them up. They are like magic. When they come out of the oven, you're going to have a hard time controlling yourself. So when you buy one of these, buy two of these, okay? Because it was really that good. <laughs> so chocolate chip cookie dough and... Now, those are both of our gluten-free items. The next ones are not gluten-free, I'm sorry, but we have a new Italian herb bread. Yay! We got a yeast bread for you. And we have a quick bread, caramel latte bread. Doesn't that just sound like something you wanna have this fall? I love, love, love all these new baking mixes that they've given us. We also have a new everything bagel uh, seasoning mix. I'm gonna use this on a lot of bread. Um, we like to do like kind of like stuffed wow. loaves of bread, you know, cheese, meat, whatever you have on hand. It's a good thing, good way of using up leftovers. I'm gonna use that on there as my favorite, favorite kind of seasoning for that. And then we have two more seasoning mixes. And these actually come in three packs. So when you order it, you'll get three of the Tuscan style uh, uh, herb chicken mix, sorry. <laughs> Um, so it's kind of got a really nice, easy seasoning mix. You can just mix it in with your chicken. What We have a, a several different fun recipes, and I'll show you some tricks with that, but you can trust me, it's delicious. And then, this is my kid's favorite. I've already had to reorder chili mix. I love chili mix because otherwise I'm always stumbling around, how much did I add last time of this seasoning and how much did I add of this other seasoning? This takes all of the guesswork out of it and you can add whatever you want to it as far as like, do you want a bunch of beans? Do you want a bunch of meat? Do you want to, you know, skip the beans depending on who you are? You don't believe beans belong in chili, right? So you can do whatever you want with that and you can have a really good chili that you don't have to measure out all of the seasonings. Let me go holler at my sons real quick to be quiet. Boys, doing a video, shush. <laughs> See, I live in a real world, in, in the real house here. Um, <laughs> and then here's something fun and new to do your baking in, and this is our springform pan, also in beautiful Pampas Chef Blue. Um, beautiful nonstick bottom. But it's beautiful. It's a spring form pan. So there you go. All right. This is a new rock star in my house. In fact, I have two of them and one of them is currently on my kitchen stove dirty because somebody had to use it this morning. And that is our rare new, brand new saute pan. It's square. I wasn't sure about square pans, right? I have all these beautiful round pans, but I love the square pan. And what's really neat is that I can fit more pans on my stove top because I have a square pan now. If I have a couple of square pans, they can go right next to each other and be burner and you know, on the other burner. This one comes with, of course, the handle. So you can pop the handle on. There we go, oops, almost, there we go. So now I've got my handle on. It comes with this lovely steaming basket, which is great. It can hold enough green beans 
for my whole family, so I know everybody in the world can use this one. Um, we also like it for steaming pot stickers. So good. I'm not even going to tell you how many times I've cheated and done pot stickers. All for the sake of experimenting and making sure that this works for you, right? <laughs> and, of course, it's a beautiful non-stick uh, guaranteed for life pan. This is the secret weapon, though, that I think is so cool. And this can be used with your other big big 12-inch skillet, too. And that is, it has a helper handle cover. And it's silicone. So it slides right on there. So you don't have to get your big oven mitt on to grab this little tiny handle. You just slip this little guy on, pop your handle on, and boom. You can pick up anything, and you don't have to worry about it dropping. So I just love this pan. I do. I love it so much. I'm really excited. I got two of them for free um, as a reward from Hampered Chef. And I was at first thinking, oh, I don't really know. Yeah, we're keeping both of them. We we use both of them at the same time. We like them so much. <laughs> so that's how I really feel about that. It's a big fat two thumbs up. We're getting down to the last pile. So now I'm kind of going towards the, the thanksgiving -y kind of things. Although, of course, you can use them for any time. <laughs> so, all right. So I've already shown, I'm just kind of reminding you, um, this giant cast iron, enameled cast iron pan. And, of course, it has that rack in there. I can't wait until the turkeys start coming out because I'm just dying to get, like, a small turkey and throw it in here and have kind of a mini Thanksgiving. But... Here's more. <laughs> so we have a new basting brush. It's a great big one with a nice uh, silicone bulb. Pop that off. This is how it comes. I was like, oh, what brilliant storage. I'll never lose the cleaning brush. So the cleaning brush actually stores inside so you can clean it out, you know, let everything dry, obviously. And then you just pop it back in and boom. And the bulb can be put into the dishwasher. So if you want to dishwasher that, easy peasy, right? And then of course you have to be able to make gravy afterwards. This thing is the bomb. I love this. This is our new sauce whisk. So it looks kind of like the mini whipper, but look, the mini whipper and the sauce whisk. It's like the baby brother. And this one is just metal, but our new sauce whisk is coated with silicone. So you can use it in any of your nonstick cookware and you don't have to worry about it leaving like those little weird surface scratches. And I just, I can't get enough of this. I love how well it gets, because of the shape of it, it gets into those kind of corners around the edge of the pan and it just does a beautiful job. I love the angle of the handle uh, because, you know, it just, it just does. It just works really nicely. So new sauce whisk, love it. I make a lot of gravy. <laughs> we have a lot of boys. They like a lot of gravy. Um, and then this is kind of the piece de resistance when you are carving up your turkey and you want something beautiful to carve your bird with. This is our new carving set. It comes in a beautiful box that's magnetically closed. So it's and just the box is beautiful. And then look at our beautiful new carving set. So we've got a carving knife and we've got the, the fork to go along with it so beautiful and it's just like our other knives so the it, the grain in the wood everything matches very nicely i'm gonna pop that back in there because i don't really need to carve anything right now but i love the carving set i am excited for thanksgiving to show that off now here comes the big one so let me move this so i have room because this one it takes up Thanks. I'm so excited. So when everybody, Pam Chef Consultant Wise, was asking before the new catalog came out, what do you hope the new big tool will be? What do you hope the new big tool will be? I kept going back and forth. I was like, I really want a new immersion blender. Mine is, it works fine, but I would love to upgrade. You know, I would really like a hand mixer. I haven't actually had a hand mixer in I can't even think of how long. It's probably been almost 15 years. I have a stand mixer and that's all I've used. So I should borrow hand mixers from my friends if I need it, if I need to use one. So I was like, maybe a hand mixer would be fun. And then I think my food processor, I would love to have like a different food processor. You know what? Pampered Chef must have like totally read my mind because what I have here is an immersion blender, a hand mixer, and a food processor all in one tool. And, and how does that happen? 
tune in. <laughs> don't, don't get lost. <laughs> so it's called the Flex Plus Multi-Tool. And you get this is the beautiful cooking guide. And of course it has some recipes that are in there, but we're not doing the recipes. We're just looking at the tool. It's awesome. <laughs> Um, it is awesome also because it's cordless. So it comes with a little charger base and it comes with a battery. No, no, it doesn't come with a battery. It comes with two batteries because of course, you know when something loses juice in the middle of a project, you really wanna finish the project and you don't really wanna wait for the next thing or you know to stop, take the battery off and charge it. So this way, when you're using one battery, you can leave the other battery on the charger base. Oh, brilliant. So we have two batteries and we have, oops, I left some of it stuck together. <laughs> and we have this. This is kind of like the power core if you want to think about it like that. So this is where you are going to plug your battery in. Light comes on. See, it shows me I have juice in my battery. And then you are going to use this end and you're going to hook into all the other tools. So you can have, oh, I put it right here. <laughs> Sorry, I feel a little senile here. I have so many pieces. So this is the hand mixer. And the hand mixer comes with your choice of whisk attachment or the regular standard beater bar attachment. And they just pop in like a regular hand mixer, right? <laughs> and then, boom, ready to go. It has low, medium, and high. And then when you're done, you can eject them. And of course, these can go in the dishwasher. Everything else you just wipe down if you splash, because sometimes I splash. <laughs> Do you splash? All right, here comes the Immersion Blender. The Immersion Blender has a nylon coating on it, so you can use this in any of our pans, like in any of our non-stick pans. It's not gonna scratch anything. The blade obviously, um, you know, would, but it's recessed, so you don't have to worry about that. This coating here will protect all of your pans. And you pop that on there, and then you hold it like this. Let's see. And boom, you've got your immersion blender ready to go. And then, like I said, I'm not done. Then we have this food processor. It is a six cup food processor, so it's actually a pretty good sized food processor. The bowl can, of course, go into the dishwasher. Yay! And it has this, uh, I'm not sure, what, what do you call I just lost the name for it. Anyway, it's got this thing that goes in the middle, and you put the different attachments on here. So you have the blade, so if you want to chop things, you can do that. And it comes with two of these discs. So we've got a cutting one and a shredding one. You'll notice it looks like there are two different sizes on here because there are. So it's reversible. So if I use it with this side up, it's going to give me kind of a coarser shred. And if I flip it over and use it with this side up, it's going to give me that uh, uh, slightly finer shred. And then same thing over here. If I use it with this side up, this is a thicker cut. And I can flip it over and use it with this side to get a thinner cut. And it just pops right on here and goes right into the middle. Here we go. Easy, easy peasy so far. Has your nice little lid here. Let me see, make sure I'm getting it on the right way. It's always hard when you're doing it in front of people, right? <laughs> Same power thing. So we just go ahead and pop that on there. And then tell it that I want it to go and boom, I'm shredding. I love it. It is awesome. And because it's all cordless, think about the holidays when you're trying to mix and chop and get everything prepped, be it for savory dishes or you're doing a cookie making day and maybe you have kids helping you in the kitchen. You don't have to be near a power outlet. You know, I could have somebody helping me even on the dining room table and they can be mixing frosting out there. I just think this is so cool. Now, there's one thing that I forgot. It looks so plain, I kind of forgot it. And this is this awesome cup that is designed to be used with your immersion blender. So that way you can make things like smoothies in the jar, yay, or milkshakes. Well, let's just go for it, right? Or you can even make mayonnaise, and it comes with a recipe for mayonnaise so that you can make your own mayonnaise. It has a nice silicone lid. 
so you can pop the lid on it and you can pop your mayonnaise in the refrigerator probably not going to need to store your milkshake though right um <laughs> so yeah I think I managed to do it all I was a little bit nervous I had so many things to get get through if you have a favorite out of any of these, I would so love to hear about that in the comments. I want to see everybody's vote for their favorite tool that's in the new catalog. Um, and I think, like I said, that's it. So I will see you on Facebook. Please notice that uh, in the announcements on this page, I did add in an announcement about uh, a table party. So I am, uh, I'm using all of you. You're my, my friends, my guinea pigs. Um, I am using all of you. I'm going to do a table party so you can go see it and, and check it out. Uh, see how everything runs over there instead of just using Facebook. And uh, we're also going to do a mystery host party of it. So everybody who orders, you might end up with extra because I'm going to draw a name for all, from all the participants of the party and somebody is getting all the host rewards. And this month, when we hit $650, you get an extra $100 in free stuff. Now, if you don't win in the mystery host party and you still want that extra $100 of free stuff, I do have room on my calendar later this month. So we can get you some of this for free and we can get extra because of that extra $100. So let me know if you have any questions and otherwise I will see you around Facebook and the table. Bye.